Hey guys, we're back for our second episode of Baking with Lucky's Bakehouse and me, Jen. We've had uh, several requests, and by that I mean two, for the blue corn sugar cookies, which is absolutely one of my favorites, one of the staff favorites. Alyssa at the Bakehouse goes crazy over them, we both love them. So we thought that'd be fun to do today. Plus, you probably have everything you need to make them. Um, and if you don't have blue cornmeal, that's fine. Just sub out regular cornmeal. The only reason that we like to do blue is because a lot of my family's from New Mexico, lives there now. So we go you know, to the farmer's market and get this beautiful stone ground blue corn. Um, but no problem if you don't have that. Some of you might, some of you might not. Um, and another thing that is fun is, you know, I thought these are a good thing to do for spring and summer baking because they make literally the best ice cream sandwiches you've ever had in your life. You can pair it with like a berry ice cream, cinnamon, whatever. You can also pre-scoop the cookie dough and put them in your freezer. So if you just want to have fresh baked cookies on them, you know, just last minute, you can pull them out of the freezer, bake them. We like to roll them with a little sugar so it makes this like crispy sugary coating. Um, they're great to do that with too. And you can do that with a lot of things, quite honestly, that you bake with. You know, like if you're making biscuits or cookies or even pre-scoop muffins, that's kind of how you, we do it at the bakehouse in order to bake for that much volume. So the freezer is your friend when it comes to baking. Um, a lot of people don't know that. And anyhow, I'm excited to make these today and let's just get started. So what you're going to need is all-purpose flour, cornmeal, sugar, brown sugar, eggs, room temperature butter, vanilla, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. You're going to start by putting the butter in your mixing bowl with a paddle attachment. Add the brown sugar, the regular granulated sugar, and you're going to mix that on medium speed and keep beating it until it's light and fluffy. Add the eggs one by one. Followed by the vanilla. Get that light and fluffy and creamy. One to two minutes, then you're gonna add all of your dry ingredients and you're gonna mix that on low just until the whole cookie dough mixture comes together. And then you're gonna take that out of your bowl, put it in a separate bowl to start portioning it for baking. You'll want a baking sheet with parchment paper. And I use a tablespoon, a heaping tablespoon, to portion it out. I roll it in sugar and place about two inches apart on the baking sheet. And now you're ready to bake. You put them in your oven at 350 degrees and they take about 10 minutes to bake. You can rotate them halfway through if your oven doesn't bake evenly. again for joining us today. Um, this recipe made about three and a half dozen. We'll post the recipe online like we did last time. Um, keep looking for more of these to come out. We're having a great time doing them. Makes me feel connected to you guys. And um, yeah, that's it. Look for us next time. Bye.